going to be looking at a microbe that comes in millions of different forms. Some of them are deadly, but some of them are delicious. Do you call that delicious? I'm going to pass. <laughs> Fungi come in all different shapes and sizes, from the microscopic yeast we use to make bread and beer, to the mould growing on our bathroom ceiling and the giant mushrooms we put on our pizza. Most fungi get their nutrients by putting out little threads called hyphae, which look a bit like plant roots. The fungi use their hyphae to release digestive chemicals into their environment. These chemicals break down their food into simpler stuff that gets sucked back into the hyphae for the fungi to use to grow. Fungi will eat almost anything, from dead animals and rotting wood, to wallpaper paste and the skin between your toes. Ugh, thanks for that, Mum. No foot fungus for us today. We're off to see the biggest collection of fungi in New Zealand at Landcare Research. So where are we? So we're here inside the National Fungus Collection at Landcare Research in Auckland. And inside this room, there's uh, 100,000 uh, fungi like this stored. And so we've been collecting for, uh, well I just looked at the oldest one and it's 166 years old. So these are some of the kind of large fungi that we can see and these two are bracket fungi. So you normally see them kind of growing up on the side of a tree like that. Yeah. And this one's really old because this one's probably about 30 years old because you can see each yeah. of these kind of rings is uh, like a year of growth. What do you think this one is? It looks like a big flat pom pom thing. Yeah, it's a, a giant puffball. We're keeping the plastic bag because otherwise all these kind of spores go everywhere. So is fungi good or bad? I think fungi are both good and bad. These ones can um, rot wood and in the forest that's really good because you know when a tree falls down in the forest, yeah. the only way it can get rid of is if fungi kind of decompose it and rot it down into the ground. But at that same time, you don't want that fungus in your house rotting kind of the walls and the wood inside your house. Yeah. So at school, there's a rule that if you see any mushrooms, you have to tell one of the staff so that they can get removed. Why do you think that is? Yeah, that's, that's good advice. So there's some uh, fungi mushrooms that are delicious to eat, but there's some bad ones called the death cap mushroom. And if you only eat just a tiny little part of it, you'll be dead. So that's why we don't eat them. Okay, there's a good life lesson. Don't eat fungi unless it comes from a shop. Thank you so much, but do you think you would be happy helping us to go look for some fungi in the wild? Yeah, great, let's go and see what we can find. The cool thing about fungi is that you can find them anywhere. We go for a walk in our local park and with Bevan's expert eyes, we soon find some really interesting species. Ah, fantastic. This is what I was hoping to see. This red fungus here. So what do you think this looks like? A squid. A <laughs> squid, yeah. <laughs> I've heard people think it looks like alien tentacles. Well, they're not wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a really cool uh, group of fungi called stinkhorns. Stinkhorns. So that's where the smell's coming from. You can smell it, yeah. Oh, they smell brilliant. Have a look at that. So you can see it's got these long red tentacle arms and this uh, uh, kind of browny gloopy stuff. Okay, that, that doesn't look like mud anymore. <laughs> and that's how it uh, uh, spreads itself. So have a, have a sniff. Oh, no, it's just, oh, it smells like poo. It's yep. terrible. <laughs> I can see where the stinkhorn gets its name. It reeks. What? Why on earth would they? Would fungi want to smell like that? I guess they don't have a nose. They want to attract flies who like poo kind of smell to come in, land on it, pick up the spores, and then fly away and put those spores down where a new fungus can grow somewhere. Okay, talk about fly away. <laughs> <laughs> Remember when Bevan said that fungi can be good and bad? Well, Mum knows all about that. Some of her work involves seeing what special powers fungi might have. So, this is where I work. Uh-huh. And I want to show you some fungi. And we're growing them on Petri dishes. Whoa, that's Whoa. so cool. So what we've got in here are 
plates and plates of different fungi. So these have all come out of the freezer. What Bevan's is freezer. that? It's great, it looks like a candy floss, doesn't it? So what we are doing in my lab is trying to find new antibiotics from these fungi. So you know when you go to the doctor because you've got um, a really sore earache or you've got a chest infection, and the doctor gives you antibiotics, which are medicines that kill bacteria. Well, we're running out of antibiotics, and soon we won't have any left to use. So in my lab, we're trying to find new antibiotics from New Zealand fungi. And what we do is we grow the bacteria that we're trying to kill on this Petri dish, and we pop the little plugs of fungi on. And then, if you look up, we then try to see if we can kill the bacteria. So can you see that there? That, yeah. So where there's no bacteria growing, that means that fungi there is producing something that's killing the bacteria. Do you think we found any new fungi with Bevan the other day? I don't think we found any new fungi, but you never know what you're going to find. And that's why Bevan and his friends go out all the time looking for new species. So next time you see a mushroom growing in a garden or some mould on an old bit of food, just think, it might hold the secret to the next life-saving medicine.